everyone, it's Monica, and welcome back to TaylorMade Cards for You. Well, today is the first day of the Coffee Lovers Blog Hop, and this is a group on Facebook that has a blog hop four times a year. I thought this would be a fun time to not only create a coffee card, but also share with you a new product that I've just recently picked up. These little containers are filled with a powder called Magicals. And what this powder does is it reacts to anything that is moist. That will mean um, you'll get a reaction when you put water to it, when you add paint, when you add maybe a texture paste or even gel. And I'm hoping to share with you a couple of techniques today. Now the two pieces that I'm opening right now both look the same. But when you actually add the water substance, you're going to get a yellow or a green. And that's what's really fun about these magicals is every background is going to be unique and different every single time. So let's go ahead and get started. Now because we're going to be adding some moisture, I did want to start out with some watercolor paper. This paper is a little bit thicker and it will hold up to a lot of mixed media items. I started out by priming my paper with some latex acrylic color and the color is called yellow oxide. I really like it because it's a very dull yellow and it has somewhat of a vintage tone to it. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason. I knew I was going to be creating a uh, mixed media background. So I just kind of brushed it on and in areas that I thought I had it on too thick, I simply took my um, wet cloth and I muted it down. So once my background was nice and dry, I decided to bring out some of my many distress inks to create some layers on my background. The colors I'm going to be using today are Frayed Burlap, Stormy Sky, and finally Forest Moss. Now these magicals work really great in crevices and when you add the powder and spray it and the water starts to drip it makes some really nice background effects. I'm not using my texture paste that I typically use. I picked up some molding paste over at Michael's and I thought I would give it a try. It's actually a little bit thinner than the texture paste I'm used to but I thought it would make nice, uh, smooth, a nice smooth background. Now this tool that I'm working with here is a very fancy tool. It's a key card from one of the hotels that I travel to. And it makes a really nice tool to spread some of your texture paste. I really like it because you can easily grasp it and it has a long surface to be able to spread out your paste nice and easily. I let my background dry overnight because I wanted to make sure I had a nice dry surface. Remember, when we're working with these magicals, you're going to be adding moisture and water. So you want to make sure that your texture paste is uh, nice and dry. Now, because you don't need very much of the powder, I'm using my uh, paintbrush to grab a little bit and I'm going to be uh, slightly dabbing the paintbrush to have some of those flakes drop all over my paper. You might think that you don't have enough to really create a dramatic, dramatic effect, but believe me, once you start spraying some water and adding the moisture, you're going to get a nice reaction. I wasn't too concerned about contaminating my um, powders because I'm using so little, I figure if I did contaminate them, it would just make a nice effect. Now one thing I would recommend is before you actually start spraying and adding some of the moisture, you want to make sure you close up your magicals because if you get any bit of moisture into those jars 
it is going to react. Now for this first technique, I didn't really want to run a background. I just merely wanted to spread some of the color. So I'm using some collage medium from Tim Holtz to add the moisture to a paintbrush and I'm just slightly uh, brushing it back and forth. Now if you do dip your paintbrush back into your collage medium, you may contaminate it a little bit. But again, I don't get myself too concerned about that. I'm typically going for the grunge look anyway, so I don't mind having some of the color in my medium gel. Now for this next technique, we are gonna actually be spritzing the paper. Now you might be wondering why I didn't completely dry my background. But using the collage medium as my moisture creates more of a gel and it will hold its place even when I spritz it with water. Now you're going to start out the same way by adding some of the powder to your background. But instead of using a paintbrush and adding the collage medium, you're going to spritz your background with water. And as you can see by using the spritzer, it creates a more random background. Now remember I mentioned that the magicals work really great in crevices? When you have the runny water, you're going to want to pick up your cardstock and tip it from side to side so the moisture will run inside of those crevices. It creates a great random look and a wonderful background. So now that I've shared with you the two techniques on using these new magicals, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video through the rest of the creation of my background.
Now I know this video is a little bit longer than my typical ones, but I wanted to show you the step-by-step -step process in creating this background and a couple of techniques of using these new magicals. Believe me, I'm no expert, and I wanted to make sure I showed you the step-by-step -step process because if I can do it, I know you can do it as well. It's just a matter of having the right supplies and taking each step one at a time. So I will leave a list of all the products that I've used in this video, along with the links to the stores. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to do that before you head out. As I mentioned before, there is a Coffee Lovers Blog Hop going on right now, and you can link to that through my blog listed below. If you enjoy making coffee cards, you may want to participate because they have some really great fun prizes. Don't forget to leave a comment before you head out and let me know what you think of these magicals. Alright everyone, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.